Hey guys, so long time no see. It's been I think over a month since my last video and I'm really really sorry about that. I feel like I've done this intro a million times in my past because I feel like I always go a really long time without filming and then I'll come back and I'll be like I'm so sorry I was gone yada 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 and I do have an excuse and I don't have an excuse like I could have filmed but I just didn't want to film. I think I just needed a break. Um, it's the most typical response every YouTuber says. I do have a lot of videos to make including weight loss videos because I get questions every day if I'm still doing my weight loss journey and stuff and there will be a video answering everything about my weight loss soon so please hang in there with me. Please please please. Also if you guys can't tell my hair is new. I actually just got it done today. I think getting my hair done inspires me to film a video because I want to show you guys. So I guess every time I could, every time I change my hair, expect a new video basically. So, um, I went darker at the roots and it's kind of like, it's two shades darker than my natural hair color and it kind of has like a bluey gray tint to it because it kind of goes into like this silver gray ombre kind of slash balayage and I had to get my hair really cut short. Does that make sense? Really cut short. Cut really short because it was so dead. I had to cut off like this much. I was pretty sad because I wanted to try growing my hair out again but I cut my hair like this um last year just like this kind of basically um and also don't mind like this underneath part I have a band in my hair that I cannot get out ever since I went um ombre last year and that golden band just will knock it out of my hair this is the fourth time that me and my hairstylist have tried getting it out it just it won't come out hopefully next time it will I don't know but I mean it's not too bad with the hair I don't hate it so but yeah I really do like my hair other than that really random those really random gold sections underneath there which now I just cannot stop staring at them because I feel like they're just poking out oh my gosh so this video is primarily going to be all about my new skincare because I went to the dermatologist. If you guys didn't know, I have severe acne. It's not like too severe. I have more acne than the average teenager, mainly because uh, it runs in my dad's side and also I have PCOS, which causes acne most of the time. So I'm just kind of all there with it. So I've had acne ever since I was probably like 10 or 11 and I finally, my parents um, got me a dermatologist appointment and that was like about three or four days ago so I first I am on my amoxic uh, amoxicillin I think is what it's called amoxicillin that sounds right but it's like a capsule pill and I take two of those uh, twice a day so I take four total two in the morning two at night I forgot to bring them down here but it is just a antibiotic that I take twice a day so there's that and then for my face I do not I cannot use any face products that I used in the past no like Clarisol or anything like that instead I use Cetaphil and this is just the gentle skin cleanser for all skin types it looks like this and it's the gentle cleanser for all skin types I got it in like this tube I wash my face in the morning and night, so I wash it twice a day using this. And then after I wash this, I in the morning I use Axone and at night I use Epiduo. And my dermatologist like drew on this bag so I knew what to do. Basically for the first two months I get a whole bunch of samples and if I feel like that is working then I will get a bigger size tube. But if I feel like I don't like it then my dermatologist will reroute me to... Um, Accutane, which you guys don't know what Accutane is, it's like a nuclear bomb and a pill for your acne. Um, you take it over like a 20 week period, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember really. But you, I could have started off doing that, but my dermatologist suggested me to start this way first to see if this will work because it's much safer and just a lot less work to do it this way. And you could get the same results because a lot of people do. But if this does not work after the five months or six months, then I will go to Accutane. But hopefully this will work. Um, I've only used it for, I've only been on this stuff for like three or four days. Um, I don't know if it's just in my head. I've looked at before and after pictures, which I will include pictures in this video of before. I don't have any after pictures because it's only been three or four days, like I said. But I will continue this journey on the channel and show you before and after kind of pictures. Um, but, uh, I don't know if it's in my head, but I do feel like this side of my face has gotten a little clearer than it has been in the past. I don't know if it's just in my head or not, but if it's not, I hope it's not, so, <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so also they gave me a whole bunch of samples of, oh, I can also use, um, I'm all over this video, but to wash my face, I can either use Cetaphil or they suggested um, Denny Dove Bar Soap, unscented. So I got the Sensitive Skin Unscented uh, Moisturizing Cream 1, and I'm sorry you guys can't see that. Um, I got this just for whenever I run out of my Cetaphil or, and all of my samples they gave me. Or I can use the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. It's basically just like Cetaphil, but it's CeraVe. But they gave me a whole bunch of samples of CeraVe and Cetaphil of little facials. Um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Hollinser. Um, and then, so in the morning, I do AccuZone, which looks like, I'm pretty sure, yeah. It just looks like this little... In the morning, I will use Axone. Oh, it's not Accuzone, it's Axone. And this is just a little sample. And this is for in the morning after I wash my face. And I do a pea size on my middle finger or any finger. And you do a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. And then you just rub it all in and it dries immediately. And I can just put my makeup on after this. Or if I'm not wearing makeup, I just don't do anything. But this is for the morning. And then at night, I wash my face again. And then, but I use Epiduo at night, and I do the same thing. And I do a pea size on my finger, and I do four dots on my face. And then I just blend it all with my fingers and let it dry. And that is basically everything that I will, I'm doing for my skin. I'm really excited to see how it turns out in the future. I really hope that I get good results with this. Um... So far, I think just by even using Cetaphil as a facial cleanser, it makes my skin so much smoother and it hasn't broken me out. I know they say a lot of times with acne treatments, it gets worse before it gets better. So far, nothing has gotten worse. Um, it's either stayed the same, but I don't know if it's just mentally me, but I do feel like it's reducing my redness on my pimples. Um, I know I'm wearing makeup for this video even though it's for my acne. I just have not done my makeup in a while and I really wanted to do my makeup and I wanted to see how I wanted to do my makeup with my new hair. So I really think I like how I did my makeup and but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the future. Have an amazing day and I love you so much. Bye. I don't know. I'm feeling it. Okay, bye.